What's good YouTube, it's your boy Musa Lost Fitness. So currently I just finished my work. It's like two in the morning to 15 exactly. Um, I'm about to have me a good man pre-workout. I got a sandwich, uh, <clears throat> cheese, salami. Mm. And a pre-workout. So I'm gonna step on that real quick. Send off my work, I literally just finished. I was expecting to finish around 10 o'clock, but as an artist, when you say you're gonna finish at like 10, you need to add another four or five hours on top of that because that's just the way it is. Um, so yeah, I just finished, about to send it off, and then I'll be free for the next couple of days-ish um, to just edit videos, make some content for you guys. But yeah, today we are gonna be doing something that we have never done before in my whole fitness career which I've been doing for the last two days. So yeah, if you're new to the channel, welcome and let's run this intro and I'll tell you what it is. Run it. So the thing I've never done before is the bro split where you train one muscle group each session which is something I've never done I've always done two muscle groups in one session um, normally chest and triceps or chest and back shoulders and arms or just arms and let's go back and biceps and then shoulders by itself and legs by itself type of situation because obviously shoulders was a weak point for me so I decided to make shoulders a separate session um, but yeah that's that's probably the split I did and then I'll repeat you know so I got to train each muscle group twice a week uh, whereas this one you train each muscle group once a week so I started off with legs because I want to separate my leg sessions started off with legs doing quads only I did that yesterday was it yesterday I did legs no I did chest yesterday so I did legs two days ago quads focused only quads and then obviously with legs you're gonna get some hamstring action involved but it was mainly focused on quads my quads are still hurting two days later um so I was like mm, okay this is okay interesting did only chest yesterday um brilliant workout felt a nice juicy pump and everything and yeah started getting cramps and whatnot um even though I drank a lot of water yesterday so it was a tough session and today we're gonna do arms I was thinking about doing back but I thought no, let's do arms and tomorrow I'll do back and then I'll do legs, no I'll do shoulders and then I'll do legs, hamstrings. So it's going to be six days on, one day off type of situation um, because of just two separate legs sessions. So that's the plan for now. I like to switch on my program every four to six weeks, not 12 weeks anymore. I get pretty bored with the workouts pretty fast. Um, so I've got to switch it up. Um, I've also done something else that I'll be mentioning once I've started that thing-ish. Um, it's fitness related. So yeah, I'm excited for that. Um, but yeah, today I'm going to take you guys through my arm workout. Um, yeah, it's going to be a lot of supersets, drop sets, all that fun stuff. Just, I can't wait to smash it. I know it's 2 in the morning, you're probably thinking, what? Should you guys sleep? No, I'm going to the gym. So I will see you guys in the gym So, it's actually the first time I've left the house today, um, which means my steps are not that high. Let me stand here quickly, it's in the middle of the road, so you can actually see me. Um, my steps haven't been that great today, so yeah. I'm either gonna have to start increasing my steps, or reduce my calories, or do more cardio. That's the only way, if I wanna get summer sharp, you know, now that I'm working from home, I don't leave my house that much. Whereas before, when I used to work at McDonald's, I used to average over 10,000 steps easily just because I used to stand up for like eight hours, moving around, you know, lifting things, making burgers, all that stuff for multiple hours. So that was my steps. But now I just literally sit in my office, my room, <laughs> which is like 10 centimeters away from my bed and sit there and draw all day, every day. So right now the movement is not on levels that it should be. You lot are just talking to a shadow right now, but at least you can hear me. I hope you can hear me. Um, but yeah, that's my thinking right now. So I need, I have a need to start doing more walks during the day. You know, whenever I feel like I'm tired of drawing, get up, and go for a long walk. It is cold outside, um, but it has to be done. You know, or else I'm gonna be doing endless amounts of cardio, 
or reducing my calories way too much because I'm not moving you know so one I love food so I don't want to reduce my calories too drastic right now it's still January so allow reducing my calories so low right now up until like summertime I'm not about that life so I'm gonna have to figure out what way it's also healthier just to move around you know being stuck in one position just is not healthy at all so I basically have an office job now which sucks um, <laughs> and for a long time I always said I wanted to be a full-time artist I'm be a full-time artist and right now I'm thinking hmm is this really what I wanted you know there's a lot of things playing in my head like is this it like am I gonna obviously it's good because I got the freedom but at the same time it's like is there not more to this you know um, but yeah obviously I went to London last week for a business trip which was fun it was something different but to me influences and stuff like that that's why I say I need to I probably end up need to go back to London because the opportunities out there is very high maybe there's opportunities here but again because I work from home and I don't really mingle people here in Denmark I don't know you know I've been here for five years I don't, I don't think you guys have ever seen me with other people because I don't really do friends like that um, I'm very myself myself you know keep my circle small and my whole circles in England <laughs> so yeah it's a difficult one I'm definitely in the start mingling more I've been saying that a lot and it's something I definitely definitely need to figure out you know trying to mingle more creatives here in Denmark and trying to build my Demus brand my art brand here you know get out more and even fitness as well um, so yeah again like I said I've done something in order to get me moving a little bit further around um, which I'll be talking about in a couple of days on this channel you still can't see me because again it is 3 in the morning and it's dark outside there's not many street lights here in Denmark and I'm black <laughs> so yeah let me just keep talking and see you guys in the gym yeah maybe we'll talk some more when I'm in the gym but yeah see you in the gym guys so these are the essentials that I have in my bag you got a belt you got a shoes you got a headphones you got a water dunk thing whatever you want to call it and lock a key cheese so to start off with we're going to be doing straight barbell curls just with the bar just to warm up um, doing 20 reps probably going to do it for like two three sets get the blood flowing get my body warm yeah, like I said it's winter time it's cold um, so yeah that's what we're going to do first and then we're going to start piling on the weight Let's do this. <laughs> so welcome back to another commentary guys as you can see we have started with the straight bar and the reason why I do this of course like I mentioned is to get the blood flowing so we're just doing 20 reps I think I did around three four sets until I felt like okay now I can start adding on weight and once we did that we started adding I didn't go too heavy normally I would go to like 60 but then I will actually use quite a bit of momentum and this time I just really just wanted to follow, fo focus on quality reps so I decided just to put 10 on each side to make it all well, in total 40 kg and just get around 10 to 12 reps quality reps um, not so much momentum slight little bit of momentum but it's not it's not crazy um, after that we went on to weighted dips now I normally do just standard body dips um, but I do like weighted dips because it just adds extra stress to the triceps and yeah just makes me way heavier um, did around 20 reps for like four sets using a 38 kg dumbbell um, like I said to you guys before my quads were hurting so putting that dumbbell in between my quads <laughs> was quite <laughs> tough uh, then we went on to them hammer curls curls for the girls as Chris Jones would say yeah, went, went pretty light today we went for 30 kg normally I'll go up to like 35 36 kg um, but yeah I wasn't really feeling this session but you know when you're in it you're in it um, I don't know I feel a bit bloated as well which was a bit weird for me but yeah we did six on each arm that's it I always say to people if you're smiling in this so we're gonna go for one more um, heavy lift and I'm not gonna go so crazy with the lift I'm gonna go pretty light because I trained chest yesterday I'm about to do close grip bench press but again I don't want to go too crazy heavy because I trained chest yesterday I'm just gonna focus on the whole contraction of the triceps so yeah that's the fourth exercise that we're doing separately and then from here on out it's just pure supersets make you fast get out of the gym 
and yeah I'm also gonna buy out some cardio because again I haven't moved that much today so let's go to this close grip bench and keep it moving so like I just said there I went for a lighter weight because I already trained chest the day before and I just really just wanted to focus the stress on my triceps so that's where my mind was I didn't really actually feel it in my chest throughout not gonna lie it was just focused on the triceps tucking them elbows did around 15 reps for four sets as well felt good then after that I went on to my supersets which I normally like to finish my workouts with so I did obviously cable extensions and I did reverse curls this time to also work the forearms as well um, but yeah just mixed the two then I went on to the overhead extensions boom clean reps clean reps 12 for that and then I did like a I don't know seated seated barbell curl I don't know what you want to call it it's like a quarter cool, it's like half instead of full it's like half as you can see here wait look it's like half curl I don't know what you want to call it but yeah and that was I think that was that, that was that was that a workout I can't even remember actually no I did some single arm cable curls after this so 12 of each boom and I went the single arm curls really like it's almost standing concentration curls really good um, actually my first time time ever doing this exercise so yeah and that was it guys thank you for listening to this commentary all right so I'm currently in my room just come back from the gym and let's just say that session was shocking it was terrible it was probably one of the worst sessions I've had in a very long time I just wasn't in it weren't really feeling it got it done though but yeah maybe it's because the whole day I've been sitting in this seat haven't really moved you know at, at some rice and that probably just sat you know i felt a bit bloated as well in the session um so yeah you know normally i'll eat and then wait like half an hour to one hour and then go train so use that energy straight away whereas the rice i ate at like seven o'clock <laughs> and i went to the gym at what two in the morning so you know by that time it sat down and yeah it just wasn't a great session overall um but we got it done did a bit of cardio as well um watched a couple youtube videos i think right now this is the, um greg Doucette and brandon harding <laughs> little uh i don't know what you want to call it bitch fight <laughs> whatever you want to call it um i'm on greg's side i think brandon messed up a bit um but yeah it is what it is um but yeah i just wanted to tell you guys how i'm feeling and i also feel like i didn't have enough calories today i haven't eaten enough so i've made a little tortilla i've made a shitty we're gonna do this a bit too <laughs> bad boys so about to chow down on these actually i've got five whole eggs not five whole eggs three whole eggs three whole eggs or two eggs three whole eggs two egg whites and i've got some turkey deli meat and yeah ketchup you know it's a bit of chili in there so i'm just gonna chow down on these two um hopefully that'll keep me all right until the morning and then call it a night you know Still got to finish off editing my previous video. Finish this video. I think it's done, but go check it out. See if there's anything I missed. Um, what else? That's it. I'm just gonna rest up, man. Get ready for tomorrow. And yeah, back to work it is again. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Love life. Love life. Love life. Alright, peace.